Greetings. Just here in camp, and we're taking a quick look at these interesting little divots in the loose sandy soil. What the heck are those things? If you've never seen these before, or you've seen them and you don't know what the heck they are, and you see a bunch of them in a certain spot, there's one there, and there's one over here. What the heck are those things? Well, there's something that is a friend of mine because they're an enemy of ants. They're called the ant lion, and make no mistake, they do not look like an ant at all, nor do they look like a lion version of an ant. That we call the velvet ant, and that isn't an ant at all. <laughs> and so we're not talking about velvet ants. What we're talking about is a little sort of uh, the young version of what looks like a damselfly, only the damselfly has a distinct difference from the adult version of this little critter. And so the babies, or the youths, build these little pits in places where they know they can get prey, like ants specifically, and they basically wait for their prey to tumble down inside, and if they can't you know, snatch them with their little jaws that they have, these mandibles they have sticking off the front of them, they will sort of kick up more sand to create little landslides like that. Little, little landslides to help kind of trap the bug into it. Now, well, what the heck are these things? What do they look like? Well, well you can, usually they're sitting right in the bottom of their little pits. So we can disturb them briefly. They'll dig a new pit. I'm going to find a little stick or something here to sort of dig it up with. What the heck is that? Go really far underneath. I'm actually caught up in some roots. Let's see if we can't find a little doodle bug. There it is. There's our little doodle bug. Okay. So, there it is. See our little, and they call it a doodle bug because when it runs around in the dirt, it leaves little trails that are often really kind of like crazy and doodly. Looks like somebody doodling. And so there we have our little itty bitty bug. And that's what's in the bottom of these pits. And it's very annoyed. And see how it goes backwards as a defense. That's getting it deeper inside. You can just make out and get it, get it deeper inside the pit. You can just make out its little mandibles on the front there. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying to look at the, the bug and not the screen. You can see its little mandibles sticking up and it's trying to bite. Oh, 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 oh. Stop biting me. Leave me alone. <laughs> so there you go. That's what it is. That's our little doodle bug. Let's see how close I can get. Or ant lion. And because this little critter will sit in those little in the bottom of the little pit there, like there's one in, in this pit. And there's ants all along the backside of my tent here. So uh, they're, in a, they're in a good place. And so it's still hiding out right there. And they will just wait there with their little mandibles sticking up. <laughs> that the only thing sticking up out of the ground. And uh, when something falls in the bottom of the pit, they grab on it. And they shoot these like digestive juices into it and it kills the bug. Blah. And uh, you know, so enemy of ants, hey, friend of mine. And I'm sorry to have bugged you, little bug. Go back to your little hole there. And so if you see those little pits, you know, yeah, maybe try not to step on them because they're helping to control pests. And I see ants on my tent, you know, it depends on the time of day, of course, you know, early in the morning, not so much, but these little guys I do like. And keep an eye out for their damsel-like fly adult versions. They're kind of, their bodies are brownish and they have antennas. So look for those two things. They tend to come out at night though. So you're not gonna necessarily see them during the day very much. And here you can see no antenna but the coloration of an, of an adult antlion. So that's still not an antlion because of the lack of, the lack of very distinctive antenna. It's going to definitely be a brown damselfly. And I just saw it chasing a blue one around like they were looking to mate. So it's definitely not one of those antlions in the adult form. So here we have the velvet ant. And you, so you can see the difference between the two critters. Oh, it's now hiding. There you go. They just kind of want to hide. And this also is not an ant either, it's a type of wasp, and apparently it has a very, very nasty sting, so you don't want to necessarily touch it. But uh, they're definitely an interesting little critter to know, the doodle bug or ant lion. So I definitely want to thank you so much for joining me for a quick minute in camp here to take a look at a very helpful pest control bug, the doodle bug or ant lion.